Right, I thought I'd just see if my stirring is still making that noise. So. Did you hear that? I thought it was going to be all right. So when it was right on full lock, it made that sound. Right, and it's doing it when I put it on. So full lock right, full lock left, that's when it makes the noise. So what's that then? On a more positive note, look at that. They're so pretty rainbows, aren't they? Just so pretty. So, pipes. I was on about. But totally unnecessary. Um, because the water heater lived behind there. Obviously no water heat now. So... I'm reckoning I can just unfasten that, plug it with that bolt and do the same with that one. I don't actually need to plug them because I'm going to be pulling them out. Because look, they're in the way. They're just getting in the bloody way. Uh, and they go under me, under my bed. Uh, there's a little place to put things. And when you try to slide them in, those pipes are in the way. So I need to be gone. So I think I can undo that, pull those pipes out. I just need to double check though <laughs> before I pull any pipes out. So this pipe goes to the tank. It's really tricky to see behind there under the bed because I've got my, my bed frame on top and it's a bloody nightmare trying to get in there. Um, get over there. Get over there. That goes to the pump and then we just need this come into the pump. So that would need to be blocked off. Or do we just put this this straight onto the pump? I don't think I need this extra bit here, do I? Or do I? I actually don't know, you know. Right, more thinking is required. So, hopefully you can see okay. What I'm thinking of doing is taking this, well this off, but putting this pipe that goes up to the tap straight onto the pump. This is the old pump. I haven't got a new pump out of the box yet. I think it makes sense to do that. And then the other pipe here, which is the other side, I'll put the other side of the pump. And then the rest of these pipes are surplus to requirements. I'm going to see if I can pull them out. So, yes. So, this is first then. Ow! <laughs> Like welded on. Ugh. That's off. Good, good, good. New connectors with it. It's like wing nuts. They're a better idea than the other ones. You can get some leverage with those, can't you? So it has come with the wires, as you can see. I'm putting this on. I did manage to clean it out a bit. It's all right. Anyway, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Is that going on? Oh, it's better be right. Does it go that way? Oh, it goes that way. It's me. It's me. Okay, I don't want to over tighten these. Obviously, it's all plastic. So it's fairly secure. We'll find out anyway. We want to turn it on, won't we? Is that why there? Just turn the electric off. Ah! I can't turn the electric off at the minute. I need the bloody light! So I need to get this bugger off. Get some glue on and all. Bleeding thing. So I'm just using a Stanley knife to. I think it's this Stanley knife. It's not dangerous at all. I don't know if it's got uh, what called barbed barbed connectors. So that grips the pipe, doesn't it? Makes it twat to get out. What is it? Bleeding thing. Yes, barbed connector. Can't 
pipe is not very long at all. That's all split, so that's not good. Okay. See what I'm doing? Just screwing this on. So I'm happy just because that's split now. Is this pipe here? I've had to just prise off. Okay, I'll just move this a bit up that way, but then I've got this pipe. Is this pipe going to be okay here? I'll just stick that in there. Although that's got a split in it, so really I should cut that off and make it like a new piece. Stick that in. Let me think. Look at the angles. I can do that. I suppose that would be okay. Now I'm wondering, should I just try and pull out all those other pipes before I connect all this up? Not that I've got any water. I'll have to get water tomorrow. So that goes in there, that goes in there. That's easy enough. Yeah, I don't want to like turn it on and then we've got water flying around everywhere. What should I do though, should it? What should I do? The connection I've got on my tap is like a two into one. It's like a Y shape. I got that at Magnum Motorhomes, which is where I got this pump from as well. Sorry, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. I just need to think about things before I do it. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. So, can we point this down anymore? I need to cut this off. Right, I hope you can see what's going on. So I want to take these off. I hope I'm doing this all right. It's got to be a bleeding contortionist to do what with this van. I'm like hanging upside down virtually to do this. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, actually, the red pipe shouldn't have any water in it because it's capped off at the other end. But this one. This one might. Enough. Mm. Oh, it's, not, it's not that big, but it's just a it's not too much what mind you. It's not got in the coal. You already said that! <laughs> Bloody fool! Through. Oh, but you know, I've been wanting to do this for months. Working conditions are not optimum. I won't lie. Right. Okay. Now, make sure they're dry, these wires. Not me setting water. Won't be good, would it? Oh, I want to pull out the red pipe as well. So I've got some PTF tape. I don't know if I need it, but... I'm going to use a bit anyway. Oh, let me just turn a bit off. I don't know how much I need. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It's just scrunching it up. Maybe I put a bit too much on. Still scrunching it up. That's what you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I got him a big bloody hand, didn't we? Oh, just get on. Get on, get in. Do what you're supposed to. Right. 
that feels fairly secure to me. I just got to do the other side now. I won't better test it today anyway. It'll be tomorrow and get some water. So I don't know why they decided not to uh, screw down the other one. Ah, these things at the side. That's where you screw it, I guess. You put the screws through that? I'm not sure. I'll put some tape around that. Hold on a minute. Um, okay, so I should uh, turn on the electric and uh, turn on the pump briefly. I hope it works. <laughs> okay, well, obviously there was sound. Um, I have a, a switch on me. Is it a con called a consumer unit? I can turn that off or on, so it turns the pump off or on, as you'd expect. But normally when it's switched on, there's no sound from the pump, unless I turn the tap on. So I'm not sure why there was a sound then. Yeah, so that's a bit curious. So... Here I am! I'm looking over there. I don't understand now. Why is it on? Hmm, gladly the was some sort of sound, but there shouldn't be sound unless there's water in it, shall they? Or is it like, does it prime itself or something? Maybe I need to ask somebody or Google it or YouTube it or something, I don't know. But anyway, I've done that. I've got the old pipes out. That's good. I need to just sort everything else out now. Straighten my van out. And have a nice cup of tea. Right, I'll leave it there for now. Okay, so yesterday when I turned the pump on, you know, the, the elect turn the electric onto the pump. It was running even when the tap wasn't on. So a friend suggested leaving the tap on. There was no water in my tank, so I've just got water. Um, turn the tap on, let it run for 20 seconds or whatever. Make sure there's no air in the system. And now it stopped. The tap's, so the tap's off, but it's not running, so that's good. But do you think it's noisy? I don't know, should it be quieter than that? I've no idea. Because yesterday when there was no water in it, it was running, it was quieter than that. Doesn't seem to be any leaks. Oh, is that a leak? No. Right, I was reading the instructions and it says you shouldn't use this tape because it can get into the pump. I'm not sure how it would get into the pump really, but I suppose anything's possible in this crazy old world. <laughs> so I don't know whether I should take that off and reattach. What does anybody else think? Anyway, it seems to be working, so it did something right. I just, I'm just concerned that it's so noisy. So, just to quickly finish, I should be so lucky. I don't know what to say. Anyway, moving on. Um, any thoughts on the water pump? You know, I, I'm concerned that something's not right because it's so noisy. I mean, it's slightly PS, slightly higher psi. I mean, to me, twenty to te twenty to thirty. It is only a, a small increase in PSI, but maybe in the world of pressure, that's a big increase. I don't know. But maybe the, the extra PSI, I don't know what that stands for, pressure, something, I don't know. Um, it's causing the extra noise. That's all it is. I can live with that, I suppose. I'm just concerned that something's not right. I don't want to break the pump. In other news, I went to the garage to get that. Oh, actually. Where's my keys? Hang on. I went to the garage to see about that noise. So it's not doing it now. Which is what happened when I went to the garage. So I put, well I think I put that bit of video in where I was doing this and you heard the noise. So I went to the garage and um, that was you Jonathan, sending me a text. That noise. Uh, and, and it wasn't making that noise. So a bit tricky to sort out a problem when you don't have evidence of it. So, 
I don't know if, what that means. It's just like that when the, the van's warmed up, then it sorts itself out. But I, I'm not complaining. It's not making that noise. Hey, that's good. <laughs> anyway, while well, I say I asked them if they'd just drain the fuel filter, uh, which they did. Do you know though? I said, because I've read what you need to do, and what I read was, you know, get a container to catch the fluid. It's not a massive deal, is it? It's not going to affect anything. But it's like, so I was like, get a container. You're going to get a container to catch that. Oh, just let it run down through my engine, onto the floor, big puddle of diesel and water. Actually, they said there was more water in it than diesel. But, you know, it's just a small thing, but I think it was important. So then you've got diesel all over for thought. People walking in. Anyway, that garage owner is uh, leaving at the end of next week. So I won't be going there again. Because I don't want to go to the next owners. I don't want to go to them. So I won't be. Thing is, I went there. I got that filter drained. And I didn't get charged for it. And the other day when I got my van towed there, I didn't get charged for it. Not, I mean, when I got there and they got my van started, they didn't, they didn't charge me for that either. So they might not be the most efficient or organised or whatever, but when you're not getting charged, that's a good thing in my book. And, you know, it all kind of worked out, so it's fine. But I will be needing another person, really. And it's, somebody's got in touch, Chris, from Chris and Heather, and said he's a, a lorry mechanic and he's happy to have a look over my van at some point and he's not far away. So that's good. Do you know, bell ends. Driving past 100,000 miles an hour. Yeah, so I might, I might uh, pay a visit to see Chris. Um, if I've got any other issues, which I'm sure I will have. My bonnet uh, cable is stretched now. So... I have to tug right hard on that knob. Oh, I can't resist. <laughs> on me thing, my lever. It's not a knob, is it? It's a lever. <laughs> I had to talk really hard on it to get the bonnet up and then I tried to get under there and oh, it was a right hassle. So that needs replacing. They have one on eBay, but it's a left-hand drive. Who the hell is buying left-hand drive bonnet cables? Why aren't there a right-hand drive one? You know, we're in the UK. I mean, I know this. And this is a British seller. It's not like a foreign seller. It's um, Coastal Motorhomes. So I don't know if this cable will fit mine. It obviously, it'll go in a slightly different place, but I'm, I don't know if it's exactly the same thing. I, I don't know. I emailed back to them and asked if, if it would be okay, but I haven't had a response yet. So that's going to need doing at some point. Problem with an old van, you see. Things start to break down. It's like an old person. Things start to break down. So that's it at the moment for stuff not working and going wrong. That's enough, isn't it? Oh, I just want to give a shout out to, um, I mean, people are always, they're not always, but quite often, not even quite often, sometimes, <laughs> getting, uh, getting, getting in touch to say hi, to offer help, or to say thanks for your videos, and uh, Shaz and Daz got in touch, they've converted a van, and hope to get out in it some point soon, um, but Shaz got in touch with me and give me, you know, said some right lovely things it's it's so nice and people show me appreciation for what i'm doing so thank you well thank you to all of you for being here for offering support for saying nice things it's lovely i think you're awesome right enough of that slushy nonsense ah, i'm gonna go yes hopefully i can keep this video down to a reasonable length of time it might be split into two bits i'm not sure if you stop talking, maybe we'll be able to. That's right. Okay, I'm going now. I'll see you all next time. Please give me a thumbs up if you've liked anything, etc. Bye for now.